I would typically consider myself a pretty productive person, but this is just one of those days that looked like this all morning and afternoon. While I love reading and I'm trying to make more time for it, at this point I was just going crazy and I needed to get off my couch, so come and join me for the rest of the day today. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> oh my god. Truthfully, it's like 3 p.m. right now and I haven't done anything all day. To be fair, it's a snow day, it's MLK day, I don't have work today, my dog has been leaning on me sleeping all day. It's just one of those lazy days, like I don't really wanna do anything, I haven't done anything. I had a bunch of different videos that I had planned to film today on like my day off, but for some reason I just woke up, I saw the snow. For some reason today has just like not been that day and I feel like it was just a good opportunity to make this video today. So if you guys are new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I work a nine to five job. I work in accounting and I do create content pretty consistently twice a week on YouTube and just like a little bit on TikTok. And I know that I'm victim to this too, but in January, it's just easy to feel like this will be my year. Every single day will be good. Let's start the year off strong. And I still fully believe that, but I feel like it's also still really normal and okay. And just like typical to have unproductive days like this. So even though it's 3 p.m. and I had like three different videos that I planned to film today, we are scratching all of it. I looked at my calendar before I started filming this video and I was like, no, you know what? Today is gonna be a lazy day vlog and we're just gonna try our best to do like very, very small things that can help us feel like our day wasn't a complete waste. But if you just like wanna rot on your couch on a day like this, just lean into that and tell yourself that it's gonna be okay. You'll still get through the day and the unproductive days just kind of help us prepare hopefully for our next productive day. So here's to being flexible with ourselves, allowing ourselves the time and rest to just relax if that's what we need to. This is not unproductive. This is just lazy and lazy can be good. Lazy can be self-care. Lazy can be rest, even though I am probably gonna go work out later because I just need to do something today. So how about I just take you guys along the whole rest of the day? Oh. Oh my goodness, this is my puppy beast and this is like 75% of the reason why I can't be productive today. I've been on the couch just reading. Beast has been sleeping next to me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Snow day. You having a lazy day too, right? For anyone that's not new to my channel, I feel like 2023 was really good in terms of like me having very intentional content, planning out my videos. That's still something that I'm doing. But I feel like this year I want to plan more vlogs that are just like typical days in my life, like come along life with me. I don't know like actual point or message or like so-called value to the vlog other than just hanging out. So that's kind of like what gave me the ultimate push to even like start speaking today. I've barely spoken all day. I have just been reading. I've been silent. I haven't done anything. My boyfriend Thomas is also home too and he's just been studying all day. We've been having like, like I said, a very, very lazy day. But then it just kind of made me think of all the content that I did post for all of last year and I feel like I want to incorporate more videos like this. So this is just going to be a very chatty, very chill vlog and I need to like do something. That's how I feel. I need to just literally do something with myself today. So once I finally was able to even open my laptop like 30 minutes ago, I was like, okay, what can I do to feel like I'm not like a complete potato, which is fine if you do want to stay a potato, but I'm just the type of person that I'm like, it's mid afternoon now. I've literally done nothing and it's also Monday, like I've had all weekend to kind of like chill, rest, be social, like do whatever. And today just feels like a big blah day. Like I don't really know what to do. And at this point it's 3 p.m. I was supposed to go on a run today, but it was snowing. Even though I don't necessarily want to, I need to actually run and I, and I just know that running will make me feel better. So I wanted to start this vlog before I go on my run to just kind of like get into the group of like exerting literally 1% of energy other than flipping pages of my book because that's all I've been doing today. We're gonna go on a run, get some energy out, and I don't really have a plan honestly for the rest of the day. But when I opened my laptop, I was on Rella and I was like, okay, if I'm not gonna film my initial video, which was a, I don't even remember what the initial video was supposed to be for tomorrow, but I think I was supposed to film a my initial plan was that I was going to film a how I edit part two video because I posted part one last month and part two of how I edit is really just like file management, how I organize my files, how I like even get myself to start the editing process. And I know you guys have been requesting that, but that video was just more timely and it requires more energy as the person preparing the video. So I did work on it a little bit. I like made the outline and stuff, but I like can't film it today, you guys. <laughs> I'm so tired and I just don't want to. And I think that's fine. So I moved that video to next week. 
I'm gonna film it later on this week when I feel like I'm back in my nine to five routine and I like have a little bit more of like productive juices going. But now we're filming our nice little lazy day vlog. And that's why I love planning my content ultimately because even if I had an initial plan, if I wanna change it very last minute like this, then I can and it won't be such a like high point of stress like it used to be if I was just like scrambling to figure something out. I'll show you guys on my phone because you can actually look at Rella on your phone too. It's like an app that actually was developed initially entirely for your phone, but I like to look at it on desktop and I feel like it just kind of helps keep my brain not totally feeling like it's going to explode. I'm going to film a morning routine tomorrow. I was supposed to film that today too, but I was like, no, I just like want to keep on having the weekend. So I will film that tomorrow too. And that is what's going on right now. That's what I was doing for the last 30 minutes when I took a break from reading my book. I'm trying to read 10 books in 2024. It's January 15th and I like barely have read this book so I spent a good chunk this morning reading as much as I could I'm like a third of the way through this book is really really good I'm not really big on memoirs or like nonfiction. I probably will only do this in like one other book this year that's nonfiction. but this is a really really cute book I even started annotating it because I just like want to kind of come back to areas of this book once I'm done reading it so I really like it so far if anybody wants just like a really light read that isn't so serious of like a memoir or self-help self-care it's more self-care than self-help honestly this is really good other things around the house that i want to show you guys that i didn't and i don't know how i haven't yet i think i started to in a weekly vlog last week but i got distracted i actually remember exactly i was getting distracted by the dumpster truck and how loud it was but we do have a small apartment update we moved into this apartment around three months ago now i think we moved in at the end of september and it's just been like a work in progress i'm someone that usually wants to have everything like completely done within the first like two months of me moving and i feel like honestly most of it is done but this has been like our favorite part of the apartment this is thomas my boyfriend he's studying right now but i asked him if i could vlog and he said yes which is why he has his headphones on this is a new dining table that we got our initial dining table was from ikea and it was the doxta honestly i hated it it wobbled it was just like a big piece of plastic and it was like 300 dollars. i just don't really think it was very nice so i did actually get this new one from west elm okay yes it is from west elm and it was very expensive but i got a really good deal on it so if you guys want this i would wait for it to go on sale because i got it for 20 percent off which really only made it like 120 dollars more than what i paid for the big ikea plastic dining table so all in all this dining table was around 420 dollars but the glass is really nice like when we first got it thomas was like the glass is literally so thick and it's also like actual wood which is really nice and so once we got the new dining table i was like okay you can finally figure out the bench situation so i got this bench from target i was so close you guys to getting like a corner banquette from west elm but it was like fourteen hundred dollars and i was obviously i did not want to spend fourteen hundred dollars so i was looking i was looking i was waiting and I found this bench from Target. It was $120, I think, or maybe $110. I will link it in the description box, but it honestly gives me exactly what I wanted it to give, which was just like a corner bench so that we could keep the dining table, not in the center, but on the side. Opens up the space a little bit more. The, these were the old dining chairs. And we're just gonna keep the other two. And now here's how it looks. I think it looks so much better. And so honestly, this dining area is basically almost done. The only thing I have left now is that I I just want to put one piece of art on this wall that's it i don't want to do a gallery wall and i know that some of you guys will probably think that i should but it's just like it's a small space like if i back up this area over here is just honestly not that big and we like to use this like long open area to play fetch with our puppy and i feel like having a gallery wall is just going to be too cluttered and not very open so i want to open up the space but add one piece of art right there that is probably going to be the last thing that we do to the dining nook at least for the foreseeable future but i think it looks really really good what do you guys think you're so sleepy you're so sleepy beast also got groomed over the weekend he got groomed on friday isn't he so handsome this is my favorite groom yet he looks so freaking cute right you're so cute oh my goodness okay now that i've told you guys my apartment updates i should do the thing that i'm dreading which is going on a run it's just so much easier to do my miles outside and if you guys missed the vlog i haven't really talked about it too much but i'm actually doing this like huge race at the end of march with a team of six we're running from los angeles to las vegas 
which is literally crazy. It's this event called The Speed Project. I honestly knew nothing about it, but it's pretty big in the running community apparently. And I need to train for it because we're gonna run a total of like 340 miles with a team of six. It's not gonna be like big sprints at once. I think we might do intervals of like maybe five miles or something, just kind of depending on what the road looks like, but I need to train for it ultimately. So I started my training plan last week and I can show you guys. Actually, let me show you just cause this is a chatty lazy day vlog and I wanna show you the stuff that at least I, I don't feel totally lazy if I'm looking at this. This is my TSP training plan. TSP stands for the Speed Project, which is the name of the race that I'll be doing at the end of March. I made this, what, like two weeks ago now? There was a guide that was sent to us via email that said that they recommend like us being able to run 60 miles by March, <laughs> which is literally crazy not in one time but 60 miles for the whole week because the race or the relay is at the very end of march so i was like oh my god i need to make my plan and figure this out so i can fit this into my schedule and so here's my plan for today i need to do a nine minute pace five mile run and i was supposed to do it at clarendon run club which is a run club here in arlington virginia but it's snowing so i'm just gonna have to do them on the tread so i'm kind of dreading going on the treadmill but it just i have to do it on the right side here i have my weekly mileage for like what the total of the week is so that i can work my way up to 60 mile weeks by march and i can do it just kind of like reasonably so i have the total mileage here and then the percent increase from the previous week so that's my training plan and i feel like honestly since I haven't done anything all day. It's a lot that I'm even talking right now. And I feel like a lot of you guys can agree once you get started on one thing, then you're like, okay, actually I can turn this day around. It won't be such a complete waste of a day. So I spent this morning reading, I made biscuits. I was literally silent, barely moved. I think I have like, what, like a hundred steps or something today so far, but I'm ready to just like do something with myself. I'm gonna go on a run on the treadmill and then we'll probably make dinner. I'll walk beast. It was beast's first snow. Right? Yeah? You wanna go outside? Okay, we're gonna go outside first and then we'll go on the treadmill. But like I said, I think the lazy days are good. Let's go outside! Come here! Come here! Come here! Let's go outside! Let's go outside! Come on! Plan is jacking! Plan is perfect. So cute! This is his winter coat. Come here! Come here! Come here! This was Timmy's Oh, I think it's from Costco if anyone knows, but it's probably a little bit outdated. But this was my chat with Doug's. This guy died. It's also Beast's first snow. So it's really cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. You want it? Yeah. Okay, ready? Bring it back, boop boop. Come here. Bring it back. Does anyone else's dog do this? Bring it back. <laughs> good boy, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Four fifteen. Also, I didn't show it, but I made my weekly meal plan this week. It's Monday. I didn't do it this weekend, and it's actually DC Restaurant Week, so we wanted to make like a reservation. And I think we're gonna go to Cafe Regs on Thursday. So I planned out all of my meals for dinner before then. Feeling a little bit better. I know for sure though, I will feel better after I get this run in. I'm just gonna go at like an easy pace. Maybe not like a full jog, but I'm just gonna do something that is reasonable because I need to do five miles. So. Luckily, I have uploads to watch. Rachel uploaded and Carter uploaded, which will get me to probably like over 50 minutes in case I do want to slow it down. Sometimes changing and deciding that you're going to go to the gym, that's like 75% of the hard work. And now I've already decided and I just need to feel like I'm doing something. Thomas did remind me that I'm just having like a lazy day and that's fine, but I just feel like I'm antsy. So if I could just do this one thing, get my workout in and I'm Really, honestly, like this is what my exact morning routine is gonna be. Just get that one thing done that makes you feel better and then like you're done for the day. So I'm gonna get this workout in and then chill for the rest of the day and that's perfect. There, that's what I was, I it didn't make that the first time. I feel so much better after that run. And actually it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. 
I'm gonna shower first. Okay. I've ran five miles on the treadmill, which to be fair, I used to do that all the time. Like when I first graduated from college, moved into my first apartment out of college in Arlington, I was running five miles on the treadmill like at 5 a.m. I don't know how I was doing that. Once I started running outside last year, it was really hard for me to go back to the gym and this, specifically the treadmill, but I had to. I was not gonna run in the snow. I, I just was not. <laughs> and I just have to say running or just working out in general, I just feel so much better about myself, my day. Yes, this was still a lazy day. Like me doing this run was kind of the only actual productive thing that I did today out of like, I woke up at seven too. Like I woke up early and was reading, which is more self-care than productivity, but it is both. But that's like not my definition of productivity. Hi. My goodness. I feel like I haven't given a beast update in a long time, but that's just cause there are no updates. He's perfect. If you guys are new, I vlogged like my whole entire process of getting my puppy last year and he literally reminds me so much of my childhood doggy baby, Timmy. Mr. Beast is a very sweet boy and He's almost, he's 10 months now. He's not even one, but he's almost one. But just because this is a chatty vlog, I will share this. Beast fell off the bed last night. He started sleeping in our bed, maybe like two months ago, three months ago. I wanted to wait until he was eight months old, but I think actually we started when maybe he was like seven months old, but he's been sleeping in our bed. We do have stairs at our bed. So usually he'll like start sleeping on our bed and then at some point go down the stairs and then just sleep on the floor of like our bedroom. But every now and then, like maybe once a week, he'll actually spend the whole night on our bed. But last night he fell, he fell off the bed and I literally like, it's my motherly instincts. I woke up and I was like, oh my God, what's going on? But he was fine. Right, baby? You were fine. <gasps> Go get your bottle. This is what the final dinner should look like tonight. This is garlic butter steaks. This will be our second Blue Apron since we've started. And so far, honestly, I really like it. HelloFresh literally never had steaks <laughs> in their recipes. So I really like this. I'm going to try it out. Hopefully it's good. And also the Blue Apron meal kits come in like little plastic kits versus the paper bags and I just think it's a lot more condensed that way it doesn't like take up so much space in my fridge and I really like it recycle oh and it's recyclable which is nice it says recycle if clean and dry right I'll do the pepper because I touched it I'll do the pepper okay <laughs> stir cooking occasionally add the vinegar Carefully stir occasionally until the liquid. Wait, wait, why do the spice blend for the veggies too? You do the spice blend. Only for the potatoes. Yeah. Okay. Feed me. Ginger lime. Mm. Isn't it good? <laughs> Here's the finished steak. Don't we have like a steak sauce? Or like mambo sauce? Or no? Well, yeah, I think Should we Should we not do that? I don't think it needs it, honestly. Really? No. Does anybody else kind of just need, especially on the days where you feel unproductive, just write a list and check off the things like Write it just so you can check it off. That's what I just did. Even though I started this vlog like five hours ago and I was like, I've just literally done nothing today. Oh, I can actually write one more thing. Here's what we actually did. I meal planned. I did a content schedule update. I started a vlog, this one. Emailed Haley because I'm working with Haley, type Haley, Haley Matsumoto for some new branding on my channel. I've been doing my own kind of personal brand update, but I wanna get new like intro cards, outro cards, just kind of stuff like that, like a new banner. And you guys know I need to go through her. So I sent her some fonts and stuff to just kind of keep the conversation going about what we can brainstorm together because I like to have it be like a collaborative process. And then I read today. So I actually feel like I did a lot even though I felt like I did nothing today it's days like this where like truly making a list just so you can check it off just mentally makes you feel better here's how my habit and mood tracker is looking this month it looks very pretty truthfully what is it today is the 15th I haven't filled this in for the last three days 
and this is like the reality of having habit and mood trackers especially on paper a lot of times i'm just kind of writing it for the last couple of days it's not something that i truly truly track daily pretty often at least and i think that's totally okay like who says that you have to track something daily as long as you track it at all so i'm just gonna fill this in and make myself feel a little bit better about everything that I either have or haven't done. And then I'm gonna do my crayon for the night because I actually haven't even done my flashcards today. And I wanna show you guys that too. I'm gonna make two separate dedicated like work to live diaries videos on how I'm learning Korean during my like daily week, especially working a full-time job and how I'm incorporating training for like a big race or I'm just gonna call it like a marathon because it technically is a marathon and I'm actually running a marathon at the end of the year too. That's like a real 26.2 mile race. I've never done that before. And I feel like those are two like really huge things that kind of feel unattainable or feel like I wouldn't wanna sign up for it because I just don't have time. But I wanna show you guys like how I'm making time for slowly prioritizing these things on a weekly basis and incorporating planning to just like making everything come to fruition. So those are two separate videos that I'll make like with dedicated kind of overviews and tips and everything. But in the meantime, since this is just like a chatty vlog with kind of no <laughs> like initial theme or value, I'm just kind of gonna brain dump everything and talk about all of it. I think honestly that doing this vlog is very like healing for me because it's just making me realize that I wanna incorporate more just like typical, typical days in my life vlogs. I was watching Carter's video while I was running and it just kind of reminded me of what got me into wanting to start a YouTube channel in the first place. 2023, I was really intentional about my planning and I know I mentioned this earlier in the vlog, but I was really good about like choosing what videos to film and making it more like value-based vlogs, which I do think I'm really like comfortable with and I feel really good about making valuable content like that. But watching her vlogs lately, I've just been kind of reminding myself, Carter, if you don't know, she's actually the person that like really made me feel the most inspired to start my channel in 2020 because I was watching her videos back in 2020 and I was like, wow, this girl's just showing her like everyday life. I don't know, I've just been watching Carter's Days in My Life and her home vlogs and stuff and I'm like, I wanna do those again. Just kind of more like, just, just hang out with me vlogs and talking to you guys about like every random little thing and feeling like I don't have to save a certain topic for a vlog later on, if that makes sense. So I wanna do those more and I feel like that's why this vlog is becoming very chatty, even though it's like literally half of a day, but I don't know what got me onto that, but here's how my trackers are looking if you wanna look at it one more time because they're so pretty. And then this is my like Korean studying setup that I've been doing for the last two weeks now. You know, to be fair, I've really only been doing this for two weeks, but I feel like it's been working really well. Daily, I have Anki, which I have on my laptop. I'll pull it up right here. Here's how it looks. And I know you guys have been asking for like a dedicated video on Anki, but I honestly just can't really speak to it. All I know is how to change like the background and how to add on the streaks and everything else. You just kind of, I made it very default and very like minimal. And Thomas like synced everything. So I honestly don't know. But you just like want to put Anki out there as a really easy flashcard based app with no ads. It's not very like pretty. It's just like very black and white for vocab. I've been doing that every single day, except for the last two weeks. I lost one day. I forgot to do it on Friday because I had like a sleepover and I just totally forgot to do my flashcards. But other than that, I have a streak. This is one of the add-ons that you can do. And okay, here's what I'll say. You can do tools, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. If you go to tools and then add-ons, you can look up certain add-ons. Like these are literally the only add-ons I have. Custom background image and gear icon and then review heat map. If you wanna add on something to Anki, then you just click on get add-ons and I literally just Googled like custom background and um, streak heat map add-on. So there's like codes that you can put in and it's very, very simple. And then you just choose a background that works for like you. I just chose this picnic because I don't know why. I just thought it was really pretty. So this is what it looks like. And then you can click on your deck and then it says that you have 10 new cards. Thomas like changed my settings. I don't even know how to go to the settings, but I think if you go to probably like preferences, you can change how many new cards you have a day. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this in the dedicated video. But anyways, I have 10 new cards that I'm supposed to learn daily. As I continue to do this every single day, it'll make like an algorithm of the cards that I choose as like easy or hard or like do it again because I just don't know it. And it's really nice. So I'll do this daily. Once you've gone through your cards that day, then Anki just says like you've completed your cards for the day. So sometimes it takes me like five minutes. Sometimes it takes me like 20. And I think the longer that I do it, the longer I'll have to be on it. But it's also just making sure that I'm actually 
actually learning the vocabulary and like the cards over time. What I have is Anki daily. And then after each week so far, this is my notebook that I made with Ty Paley. And what I'll do is, or at least what I've done so far, I don't know if this is really gonna work because I've only been doing it for two weeks, but I have a page of like the vocab of that week. I've been doing the Anki cards every single day, but at the end of each week, like every seven days, I'll write down towards the end of the week, the words that I just like feel like I always choose as again like the words that i'm like never really remembering i'll straight up write it down in a list so that i can actually see it so that even though i'm done my card i can see the words that were hard and then i'll just like look at this and i'll kind of do more practice and memorization so i have week one this is week two. Oh, and then <laughs> And then here I just have like other practice. Like I don't really have a set outline for how I'm gonna use the notebook. It's really just for like truly random notes that will help me learn over time. So I have like some words that I just felt like I kept on missing up because they're so similar when you say it. But I just had to like write it down and look at it because I'm a very like visual learner in that way. So that's how I'm using my notebook. And then the words that I'm actually putting in this notebook is yes, everything that I'm learning from Anki that week. But then I also have this workbook that my first 500 words in Korean. This is from Talk to Me in Korean, which is like a really popular resource for learning the language. I'll probably do realistically the last two weeks. I think I've done like three days or three of these lessons because I'll incorporate it at least my goal is to do at least like one to two every single week and hopefully like more over time honestly i should probably be doing more and then for each day you get your vocab that day and then it goes through like exercises of putting them with sentences and then you have a story to read which is actually really good for me because i can read like i can like enunciate korean so it's good like reading practice for me and then i can associate the vocab with the story translation and then there's just like exercises for those vocabulary words so i've been doing a mixture of these three things for the last two weeks and i think that's really good my main focus of january if you guys watched my 2024 planning video was just vocabulary like i can't simply do not know the vocabulary at all like i just don't know enough to even like associate so january is really focused on vocab and word association and that's kind of like my setup that i've been realistically trying to do at least every single day working making content running reading those are like my big things that definitely feel like a challenge because it's more than last year but i'm just trying to be really mindful of how i can actually make it happen because i'm really determined to do all those things and like focus on all those areas of my life this year so oh my god i ranted about that way too long that's the point of this video i guess so i'm gonna do my korean and then i think i'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day i think this is gonna be like my last like thing in my non-productive lazy day and Thomas and I might watch like a movie or something to end off the night. I just wanted to go through with you because I know you guys have been asking ever since I talked about being a little bit more open about learning Korean just because I am 100% Korean born in America and I just grew up not knowing Korean or speaking it or knowing it, but my parents know it. So it's just always been like a touchy topic for me because I feel like I should know it and I, I do think I should. It's really on me to learn it and it's just a big focus for me this year and I'm willing to like cut back on content if I need to or cut back on social plans if I need to in order to actually really make this something that I can say I, I improved on at the end of the year. So yeah, rant over. I'm gonna do my studying and then chill. Hi, are you sleepy now? Okay guys, I am done for the day. It's like, <laughs> oh my God, since when was it 11 p.m.? Especially because this was more of a lazy day and by the end of the day, I feel a lot better. Like I feel like I actually did some stuff today. It just happened to be like the second half of the day. I just wanted to leave this vlog a little bit more chill and I want to incorporate more of these, not like, you know, minimal cuts, no edits, but just like something chill. I feel like I do a lot of like productive content, especially with juggling a nine to five and having YouTube. So let me know if you guys like videos like this that are a little bit more lazy, unproductive, just kind of showing you more of like the other side of just spending typical days at home and not really doing much and tackling like one specific thing. But I feel like I kind of touched on everything that I always talk about because it's just true. I feel like I try my best to think about like all of my 
things in my life daily, whether it's like Korean or running or work and stuff. Luckily I didn't have work today. So it was just a nice day of like reading for the first half. And then I did some other things. More of the story, just let me know if you guys liked this. My next video is gonna be a morning routine. I'm really, really excited. I have just like this whole new revamped mindset when it comes to morning routines that I'm really excited to share with you guys. And it's a really fun partnership too. And I think that's everything. So I will see you guys in a new video very soon. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos twice a week in 2024. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, miss you already.